Good morning and welcome to our worship for Palm Sunday. It's wonderful to be gathered as members of Panel Methodist Church, of St Robert's Church in Panel and St Michael's Church in Beckwith Shaw. Welcome to you all. I hope you've had the opportunity to make your own palm branches to use in this service like this one here and that you've got something to draw your palm cross with, something that you can draw on your skin with on the inside of your palm uh, for later in the service. But we look forward to enjoying this service with you and we begin with our call to worship. Come with us. Come, Come and see, see what's, what's happening. happening. People are cheering and waving palm branches and running all over the place. The kids are shouting and laughing and having fun. Come, Come see, see what's, what's happening. happening. What is happening? Jesus is coming. He's getting a hero's welcome and everyone is out to greet him. Hurry! Hurry! Let's go and greet Jesus! I'm coming! Let me grab a hat! Jesus is coming. Why are we gathered here? What were the crowds doing? Who was it that they were proclaiming king? Why are their hosannas changing to crucifies? What are we doing here? Do we spectate or are we part of the crowd? Which character in the story are we following? Why do we think we are so innocent? Where are we going? And who are we going with? We are now invited to draw a cross on the palm of one hand with either a washable marker, lipstick or whatever you have available. Now raise your palm in the air and I will say Jesus our Saviour and our friend as we remember your humble arrival into Jerusalem. May we celebrate your arrival in our lives every day. Bless the crosses we have marked on our hands today as a sign that you are with us. You came to be among us and you do all for us. Through your life and death and life beyond death, be with us as we travel towards Easter. Bring us hope and peace through the mystery of your death on the cross. Amen. Amen. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, with palms in one hand and bread and wine in the other. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, with hosanna in our throats and questions on our minds. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, trusting your love, even as we hesitate at its cost. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, familiar with the story, frightened by the reality. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, hearing the sounds of the weak and recognising our own voices. May we follow you, O oh Jesus, there at the beginning through to the ending as well. Hear us, hold us, always. So be it. Amen. Oh 
Wow, Bart, I'm tired. I can't even remember where we've just been. What was the name of that place? Not sure, Thad. Beth something, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. No sooner had we arrived than Jesus was sending us off on this mission. Yeah, so let's recap. What do we need to do? Get a horse for him? No, he definitely asked for a donkey. A donkey and her colt. He seems confident we'll find them in this village. What do you think he wants with a donkey and her baby? A sacrifice, perhaps? I think it's more likely he's looking for a ride. He must be as exhausted as we are. Have you seen him while we've been walking? He looks so tired and serious. Mind you, with Jesus, you never know what's coming next. Now he said we had to say something. If anyone asks why we're taking this donkey and colt, of course, they're going to say something. We're stealing them, aren't we? I don't know. Maybe Jesus sent a message ahead without us knowing. He said we have to say, the Lord needs them. And he reckons when we say that, they'll hand them over. No question. This is reminding me of a story from my scripture classes when I was little. Didn't Zechariah the prophet say something about a, a king coming to us Israelites on a donkey and a colt? Oh, but you always knew more about those scriptures than I did. Still, seems odd for someone important to arrive on a donkey. Why not a horse or a chariot? Here, look, up ahead there they are, one donkey and one colt, just as ordered. Well... It's not for us to argue. Let's get them untied and back to Jesus. Here, do you think we could ride them back up the hill? Mm, not sure. Don't think that colt's strong enough. Look, Bart, someone's coming. It's okay. The Lord needs them. I can't believe that worked. They're just walking off. Quick, let's get these back to Jesus before they change their minds. Here, if the master is planning to ride this donkey, he's not very clean. Oh, that's all right. Here, he can sit on my cloak. It's far too hot for me to wear in this heat, and it can't smell any worse than it does already. Master, here are the donkey and colt you asked for. Oh, you want to get on the donkey? Are you sure? Let me give you a leg up then, master. Jerusalem, here we come. Here, yeah, look what the people on the road are doing. I think they must recognise Jesus. They certainly think he's important. They're throwing their robes on the road for him. I feel like I'm in a strange sort of royal procession, Thad. I know what you mean, Bart. They really want to celebrate. Can you see them cutting down the branches from the palm trees so they've got something big in their hands to wave with? Oh, yeah. Wow. What a sight. Here, and look, they start at following us up to the city gates. Can you make out what they're chanting? Um, Hosanna. They're shouting Hosanna. Come on, let's join in. Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna to, to the, the Son, Son of David. David. Blessed, Blessed is, is the one who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Hey Bart, we're at the city gates already. What's the city going to make of us all, I wonder? 
Well, let's just tell them loud and clear. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Is that who you think he is? Well, there's definitely more about him than just being a prophet. But how else can we describe him to this crowd? Perhaps he's telling them who he is just by the way he's doing things. Yes, I think you're right, Bart. I can't wait to see what comes next. I wonder how good you are at understanding road signs. The way that some people drive, I wonder if they ever even see them. But I wonder if you like these road signs. Here we have a turtle crossing, moose attacks likely, an immigrant crossing, a sign that tells us that the sign is not in use, a sign from Finland that reminds us to beware of thin ice, a fantastic sign that talks about beware of road surprises. I wonder what surprises they would be. And possibly my favourite, beware invisible cows. I wonder which your favourite is. Road signs are there to guide us, to direct us, to keep us safe and above all to show us the way. Today is Palm Sunday. Traditionally a day when St Robert's and Panel Methodist Church would have gathered and walked behind Nigel the donkey. A day when we remind our village to prepare themselves for the journey of Holy Week and to look for ourselves at the signs calling us to prepare. We heard in our drama how some of the disciples encountered that first Palm Sunday and I encourage you all to dig out a Bible and reread Matthew 21 verses 1 to 11 in the next 24 hours. And see the signs on the way for Jesus, for the disciples, for us. But maybe as I share the story again, you may see some signs too. At the beginning of our story, Jesus sends two disciples saying, Go, and you will find a colt tied up. Untie her. And if someone stops you, say, Give way, for the master needs it. The disciples went on ahead and did what Jesus instructed them to do and brought back the colt. 
Jesus climbed on the back of the colt, and the disciples and others lay their cloaks on the road. There were so many people that other traffic must have had to slow down. You could even have said that there was an obstruction in the road. Those who went ahead and those who followed behind sang praises to God. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There were so many people when the crowd entered Jerusalem and the whole city was stirred. People were asking, who is this? And others responded that it was Jesus of Nazareth who had come to save them. He is the one who has called us to stop in the name of love and turn away from all our sins. What an amazing story. And it doesn't end there. Holy Week is just beginning. As we walk our journeys this Holy Week, will our conversation be God with God be two-way? Or even more, will God have priority over our lives? Will you make space to stop and reflect with God? To be with him this week? To walk the way of the cross. From this point on for Jesus, it was a one-way road to the cross. And we know that there were many dark tunnels ahead. We may feel as if we're in a dark tunnel at these difficult times. But just as the people walked into Jerusalem with Jesus that first Palm Sunday, so too... He will walk with us each day of our lives. Maybe this Holy Week, it's time for us to say, Hosanna, Hosanna, and to walk with him on this journey. Maybe as you reflect, something that you could do is to draw a road sign that shows how you are feeling this Palm Sunday. Maybe you could do that and then take a photograph and send it to either Abby, Claire, John or myself and we can share it on our Facebook feeds. But more importantly, put it up in your window so others will know that you are continuing your journey with God. Be blessed this Holy Week. Amen. And so we come to a time of intercessional prayer, where we pray for the world, for each other, and for the kingdom of God to come into our lives. Let us pray. May we who wave palm branches and shout Hosanna and proclaim you Lord and follow you as love enters the world, as justice come among us, as peace finds its way and truth becomes known. May the story of then happen now. So in the places of hunger and famine, May we who can ride in with sharing and a new way of living together. In places of loneliness, may we who can ride in with compassion and a better way of sharing together. In places of conflict, may we who ride in working for peace and a safer way to live with each other. May we be like you and proclaim God's good news and tell the world about the work of love and what it does. May our hosannas be good news for those in the world who need your care and hope. Hear us pray for the world and for our friends and family, for the healing of the world from coronavirus, for those who are ill and those who are recovering. Hear us in Jesus' name. So be it. Amen.
we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Go out into the world as God's people. We will journey with praise on our lips. Go out into the world as followers of Jesus. We will join the parade of the broken, the lost, the hopeless, for that is where Jesus may be found. Go out into the world as the Spirit's peace. We will share the warm breath of reconciliation with all we meet. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us for this Palm Sunday service. It's been a joy to share it all with you and with so many others who've put this on. Our thanks go to all of our contributors for today, to Ben and to Claire, to John and to all of those who contributed in the dramas, the words and the songs. 
and we'll see you again for our many versions of worship throughout Holy Week and for our service on Easter Sunday. God bless.